So, good morning, good morning, bonjour, um, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the uh, European Open File System Organization, I'm pleased to be here. Also, um, say hello and uh, um, a wider welcome. Um, the uh, European Open File System, yeah, European, okay, this doesn't, does it work? I'll use this one here. So the uh, European Open File System organization has been restructured a little bit, and the idea is to, of course, foster the um, promotion, expansion of open file systems. And um, it's actually not limited per charter to Lustre again, but will also include other parallel file systems as long as they are open source and available. The good news is that the, the EOFS structure has been kept very stable. The, uh, the board members have changed a little bit. At the moment, you can, you can see the structure here. So I myself, um, I'm chairing the organization. Jacques Charles Lafoucriere from CA is the vice president, and you can see um, the directors um, on the left side. I'm pleased to welcome Hugo Falter, who is sitting at the back of the room. I uh, don't see Brad Kosteloff from DDN yet, but I expect him to be here uh, later today. Uh, that at least that's the information. And then on the right side, you can see the board members. The good news is that um, we were able to win uh, new members. The two new ones is Grow Data, long in the business of uh, file management. Um, they've joined EOFS as well as the company ThinkPark. And if you have ever heard about the, Fra the Fraunhofer file system, today called BGFS, that is the organization selling, promoting it. So it's a good example that having an open in the EOFS name actually has a meaning. And then you see the other members below. Um, I also want to mention the uh, sister organization, if you want, at the other side of the ocean, OpenSFS. Um, as Aurelio just said, they were very helpful in uh, organizing supporting this event here. And they went through a major restructuring. Um, uh, most of you are familiar with it. This is the current uh, organization um, of Open SFS, and um, we are all looking forward um, uh, to meeting them, for sure, at the board level, and also some, uh, um, um, uh, uh, in um, uh, sharing other events with them at the upcoming um, supercomputing conference, um, SF7 team in Denver. And here we are looking at, uh, at what we are doing together. This is an announcement, and if you plan to be in Denver, you should actually be attending the Luster Community BOF. The title is Luster Deployment for the next five years. I'll be acting as the session leader together with uh, Sub-Oral, and uh, it will take place on Wednesday afternoon. And as you can tell, the organizers at, um, um, who, who are actually doing the BOFs, Jeff Fetter from the Oak Ridge National Lab, they have some expectation because they have si assigned close to two hours to this BOF here and uh, also three rooms, so there's quite some ex expectation that this thing will be successful. Um, uh, so together with a few of you, we'll be working on a, on a content full and rich agenda to fill um, those close to two hours with real information. I'd also like to mention something um, that is not directly linked to Luster, but uh, um, I was also involved, again, in the context of open file systems um, uh, with the organization of and other birds of a feather uh, session 
in Denver, and that is um, <coughs> the uh, BGFS, or ex Fraunhofer file system, BOF. So if you have a general interest in other open file systems, that may be of interest to you as well. It will be shorter, it will take place on uh, Thursday uh, around lunchtime. Now, Aurelion initially thanked quite a bunch of people, including OpenSFS, for supporting this event here. And I think now it's the time to thank Aurelion and the organization behind it, and that is CA as the hosting organization. It's clear that uh, without them, we wouldn't be here. And also, kudos to Julian Kunkel of the German Climate Research Center in Hamburg, who worked on the uh, website and promoted, of course, um, LED on the EFS website. But first, big thanks to CA and Aurelion. <laughs> Q&A. Um, let me just limit it, if you're interested, or your organization to join the uh, European Open File System organization, you can always talk to me or to Hugo Falter, who is sitting at the uh, back end of the room here. Most of you know him. And uh, it's now time to say thank you and also ask the next speaker to come to stage.